is this the future of the UK? This is a radical proposal with a limitless economic potential which will reduce journey times to the blink of an eye and eliminate carbon emissions. This game changer will obliterate the UK's north-south divide. This is not HS2, this is Hyperloop. Hyperloop is truly a new mode of transport and is the brainchild of Elon Musk who unveiled his plans in 2012. Although Musk and his companies are not directly involved in Hyperloop development, several startups showed genuine promise of delivering passengers to their destination in supreme comfort and at speeds just shy of supersonic. These outrageous speeds are possible by creating a near frictionless environment where pods capable of carrying passengers and cargo are constructed with magnetic levitation technology or maglev for short. This technology is essentially a series of magnets which repel one another to lift the pod from the track practically like an air hockey puck. Further magnets can be utilised using this phenomenon to propel the pods using minimal energy creating an extremely efficient mode of transport. These levitating pods are propelled within a vast network of vacuum sealed tubes and tunnels. Inside this closed environment, the air is extracted to further reduce friction and mimic air pressure conditions of 200,000 feet above sea level, the equivalent of nearly six times an airliner's cruising altitude. As seemingly futuristic as Hyperloop seems, maglev trains are currently operating in China and in Japan, Tokyo and Osaka are to be connected by a brand new maglev line, proving it as a concept. While in 1799, George Methurst first conceived a railway which would run in pressurised tunnels with reduced air resistance. Even industrial great Eisenberg Brunel constructed an atmospheric railway in 1846. However, the leather seals which sealed the pipes were susceptible to deterioration, ultimately rendering this project a failure. Coming back to 2021, who is leading this green and incredibly fast transport revolution to change the way we travel? Founded in 2013, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has the backing of many leading companies including Hitachi. Hyperloop TT aims to create a frictionless world by removing financial, technological, safety and environmental risks. To do this it will use fleets of pods travelling at speeds of up to 760 miles per hour which can hold between 28 and 50 commuters, creating a daily network capacity of over 160,000 passengers. In 2018 they signed the first commercial agreement to construct a Hyperloop in Abu Dhabi with plans to expand the network throughout the UAE. Also in 2018, Hyperloop TT agreed to construct a cargo prototype in the German port city of Hamburg and agreed to conduct a feasibility study of a passenger and freight route between Chicago, Cleveland and Pittsburgh. This study was then released in 2019, proving the economic benefit of a Hyperloop along this corridor. Formerly Hyperloop 1, prior to a rebrand after significant investment, Virgin Hyperloop is arguably leading the revolution. Pods of 28 passengers and cargo are promised effortless journeys that are 10 times faster than traditional rail and 3 times faster than high speed rail and have lower environmental impact than other modes of mass transport. An automated command and control system ensures safe and reliable travel on a service which is on demand and direct. Virgin Hyperloop claim that by eliminating aerodynamic drag, their Hyperloop will have half the cross sectional area of a high speed rail tunnel and therefore half the cost. This could be a potentially huge factor in connecting urban centres to Hyperloop. On November 8th, 2020, Virgin Hyperloop successfully conducted the world's first Hyperloop passenger test with a pod of four passengers reaching a velocity of 48 metres a second. Virgin Hyperloop is also currently working on several projects around the world. In India, a Hyperloop has been developed between Mumbai and Pune. This would cut travel time by three hours reduce emissions by 150,000 tonnes and create upwards of $36 billion in growth. In Saudi Arabia, a Jeddah to Riyadh route would be 100% powered by solar energy, 20 minutes faster than flying and 8 hours faster than driving, all while delivering $4 billion in growth. Like Hyperloop TT, Virgin Hyperloop can see a potential route between Chicago and Pittsburgh. Virgin Hyperloop estimate that their system would be over an hour faster than flying, would save 2.4 million tonnes in pollution and create economic benefits in excess of $300 billion. Now back to the original question, 
Is this the future of the UK? With HS2 costs continually spiralling out of control, growing environmental concerns regarding its construction and it only benefiting certain areas of the UK, possibly a strategic rethink is required. Furthermore, an optimistically estimated 20 billion cost for a proposed 30 mile connection between Northern Ireland and Scotland has been described as a vanity project and its benefit doubted. Perhaps a new innovative solution with enormous national benefits is the answer. Hyperloop will cruise at far superior speeds and is enormously more efficient than air travel and high speed rail. Coupled with no weather disruptions due to its enclosed environment, Hyperloop offers a clear sustainable solution with zero emissions. One suggested route connecting the capitals of England, Scotland and Wales could transform the UK economy by significantly strengthening domestic economic ties in a post-Brexit Britain. Even travelling between Edinburgh and Glasgow would only take 7 minutes, half the time it takes to walk the length of Princess Street. This accessibility will ensure the resources of a combined population of over 2 million despite being separated by 46 miles. The potential is endless. Hyperloop can replace short haul flights and bypass rail modernisation. It is time for British engineering and ingenuity to reaffirm itself. It is time for Hyperloop.